Hey everyone, it's North Collectors here. We're doing a brand new product. Well, I should say a brand new old product. And they used to make these vending boxes back in the day. This is a 2022 Top Series 2 vending box. So if you've been around the collecting world for a while, collecting baseball cards, you probably remember these. I believe it was from the 80s, maybe even to, into the early 90s they made these. <clears throat> these are 170 cards uh, in this uh, vending box from Series 2, as you can see here, with five exclusive inserts. These will run around $45, $50, bucks, uh, somewhere in there, at least at release. That's what they came out at. There are parallels in here, so if you can see, or at least a chance, I should say, at parallels. So it looks like you have a chance at, um, let's see, I think it's black and gold, blue, uh, purple, or red. Yep. Uh, so those are the ones that you're looking for. Obviously, the gold look like they're the hardest to pull. Um, and uh, it doesn't look like you have a chance at any autographs. I have not watched any breaks of this. I saw that they were making these. I figured, hey, let's just give it a try. Not a real steep price, obviously. And I believe they're actually going down in price. But they are a hobby product. You can only get them at <clears throat> hobby stores. Not something that is going to be... Uh, found that they're going to be found in uh, you know Walmart, Target, at least not as of yet. So you can see the little hobby symbol down there. I believe the inserts are right on top. And I also heard that there is a chance to pull um, the short prints out of here of, um, or at least the, the rookies are in, in the checklist of... Uh, uh, of O'Neill Cruz, um, which he, of course, is in Series 2. But Bobby Witt Jr., Julio Rodriguez, Spencer Torkelson, those guys are all on the checklist, I believe. So here's the inserts. So you get five of these. They call them inserts, uh, not parallels, but that's because they are obviously not parallels. They are um, a different uh, format as far as their photographs go. But here's a Reed Detmer, so that's not a bad one to get. Um, and a Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh now on the Phillies, I believe. Uh, Pena, and that's not bad at all. He's having a great year. And there's Torkelson and Bobby Wood Jr. All right, so I'm not sure on the checklist of what you know, the insert checklist, but obviously uh, all rookies and you know good names in there. So that's pretty cool. Have no idea what those are going for on the secondary market, but we got 170 cards to go through. Let's see if we can pull any parallels. Let me just look at these again. Make sure that there's not... I'm just going to look at the backs of them here. Make sure there's nothing that I missed. Um, I don't believe... Yeah, I didn't see any numbering on there. All right, let me get down in the comments below if I missed something on these. Um, you guys, as viewers, always have good... Um, comment and watch the products very closely and always are helpful letting us know if we miss anything. All right, so once again, um, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you uh, like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it. Um, we will be doing more baseball breaks. The baseball products are super slow in coming out, um, which is too bad. I mean, they had the release of what was it? Uh, today, the, the super expensive set, the name is escaping me. It's like a $3,000 box or something. I mean, yeah. Okay, so probably not going to be one that many of uh, the regular collectors can afford to spend that sort of money on. All right, so let's see what we get in here. Just kind of go through this. Won't be a super long video. We won't try to drag it out either, though. Um, see what we can find in here if there are any um oops any parallels if they are i don't know exactly where they would be and i can't imagine there's photo over here there's o'neill cruz so 170 cards out of the the checklist so obviously if you're trying to build a set not a bad way to go unless the collation this is really bad and they just put in tons of doubles which I would not know without watching a bunch of videos and actually, you know, trying to number order these things and figure out what uh, what's in here and if you even get doubles in a box. 
but uh, I don't really see anything that would identify a parallel because you'd think you'd be able to tell right from the side of the cards, obviously, what uh, would look to be a parallel. All right, so just a bunch of base cards. It is kind of a, um, you know, big time throwback sort of thing. I heard one guy, I just quick watched a, another video to try to get some people's opinion on this. And they, one guy was saying he thought maybe back in the day they actually put these cards in like some kind of a vending machine. That's why they're called vending boxes. I have no idea if, that, <laughs> if that's, I'm not saying it's not accurate. I just don't know. But it did made me make me think of the, the good old days when people actually bought stuff out of vending machines other than uh, soda. Um, and you would buy candy like you still can today. Um, but they were, it was a lot more prevalent, um, to buy it out of, um, vending machines, but you could also buy, um, uh, soda just like you can today, but, um, also you could buy cigarettes out of vending machines. Um, you know, that was always interesting. People go up to the vending machine and get their pack of, uh, cigarettes out of there. Obviously a lot's changed since then. Um, <laughs> at least where we are, you got to you know, go to some service counter somewhere and the employee has to go grab you your cigarettes and whatever. Uh, not speaking from experience of buying them, but just watching it. Anyways, just crazy thoughts that go through my head when I'm thinking of vending boxes. All right. Uh, hopefully you like that little um, rabbit trail. Uh, but yeah, back in the day, I had plenty of experience buying candy from vending machines. All right. So... This is really not super exciting. I will just admit it. And if you guys think this is rather boring, definitely comment below. I'm not really sure why Tops did this. The only thing I could think of is that they are appealing to like the 50-year-old, 60-year-olds. Um, I don't really know. Um, it's I don't really know what their thought was on this. Maybe just a money grab, put something else out there. Uh, for, you know, people to chase. I mean, more inserts. I mean, I highly doubt that these are going to demand a huge uh, dollar amount. I mean, maybe, maybe at right away, this Bobby Witt was going for a lot of money, but I, yeah, I just don't know. Anyway, it's very interesting concept. I guess if you want to build a set, 170 cards, uh, a couple, probably two, three boxes, you could probably build a set if the um, collation's good in it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Strange, strange product, strange idea. I would love to know what Tops is thinking. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, you know, there was a lot of rookies in here. We did get the O'Neill Cruz, but nothing special. And the odds to pull a parallel, you can see right there, are pretty tough. Um, definitely not easy. 1 in 13, and that is per pack. So that means per box. So yeah, one in third. So every 13 boxes, according to the odds. So that's pretty tough. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll have more videos coming up later in the week. We got some football videos coming up. Um, we'll do some more baseball, basketball as the products release. Hopefully we'll find some new retail releases. Um, this week, the hobby releases were just like Obsidian basketball. I think a soccer product came out. Um, and not a whole lot else other than the high-end baseball. So uh, we will definitely be breaking more re uh, retail and hobby uh, products as they become available. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care, have fun collecting, and we'll see you soon.